Hi, my name is Peter, and I'm speaking to you from Cape Town in South Africa. Thank you so much for praying for us today. I have five prayer requests today, but before I get on to them, I'd like you to join us in giving thanks for our amazing supporters. Last year was a tough year for people all around the world. Despite all the problems caused by COVID, our supporters remained amazingly faithful and generous. Please th join us in thanking the Lord for these incredible people who make our work possible day by day. My first prayer request concerns the whole issue of awareness of leprosy. Many patients in South Africa, when they start treatment, are already at an advanced stage of the disease. And this is because people in the health services, in rural clinics, rural hospitals, are unaware of the early signs of leprosy. Many people think that leprosy has died out. Of course, this is not true. And we're looking for ways to raise awareness about leprosy. We've tried many different ideas over the years, and we'd like you to pray with us this year as we look for new ideas and explore new ways in which people, especially in the health services, can become aware of leprosy. Related to this is our desire to see the appointment in the National Health Department of a coordinator for leprosy. We've got a wonderful relationship with the National Department of Health and we're working with them at the moment to look for ways in which we can appoint a National Leprosy Coordinator. Please pray for us that this process will be successful. Thirdly, in many parts of the world, leprosy patients belong to self-help groups. This is a wonderful way to help leprosy patients learn to manage disabilities and to learn skills that help them cope in society. Leprosy patients in South Africa are widely scattered and self-help groups don't work. We're looking at ways of creating virtual self-help groups. Please pray for us as we work with leprosy patients and look for ways to make these self-help groups a, re uh, a reality. We think that there might be a possibility for some of our patients to belong to virtual groups that are hosted in other countries and this way they could learn from people who have a greater degree of experience of leprosy and overcoming its problems. Fourthly, we're looking at ways of providing Bible college training for leprosy patients. Many of our patients would like to attend a formal Bible college training program, but they don't have the necessary background to gain admission to Bible colleges. We'd love your prayers for us, for us as we look for ways to help leprosy patients perhaps join virtual Bible study programs or other programs which will help them to gain skills and become leaders within their congregations. Finally, I'd like you to pray for our ramp up program, which promotes the inclusion of people with disabilities in the local church. We're looking for ways to overcome the attitudinal and physical barriers that exclude people with disabilities from the life and work of the church. Right now, we're looking for a new coordinator for our national ramp up program. Please pray for us that the Lord will send to us the right person to run this program. Thank you so much for praying for us today. May God bless you in whichever part of his vineyard you find yourself. Thank you.